lot of people have probably heard keto. It's a bit of a buzzword out there. Yeah. But for those that don't know what it is, tell us about the keto diet and what keto means. Yeah, so the keto diet, it's really, really simple. We're eating plenty of protein, a good amount of healthy fats, and lots of non-starchy vegetables. Common myth that we're not eating vegetables. And keto is short for ketogenic, which is a state of the metabolism where you're primarily burning fat for fuel instead of carbohydrates. So that's why we include lots of healthy fats. And it's one of the most efficient ways for your body to, to actually get energy is from fat yeah. as fuel. And I'll say this, I'm, I'm not keto, uh, but I have been in the past, and the best I have ever felt any way that I've ever eaten really? is when I was able to eat uh, a keto way of life, which is a little yeah, bit more right. of a challenge, you know, here and being able to try all our great desserts that we get to make here. All right, so let's start with the salmon. Well, I'm gonna tell you too why it feels so great to eat keto. For a lot of folks, keeping your appetite under control and not feeling hungry all the time on a diet, right? That's the biggest thing is people don't wanna feel hungry. You feel so, incredibly satiated. Yeah, so you feel really yes. satiated. Yeah. So, these fish tacos are super simple to make. People are always intimidated by cooking fish, and it's actually the easiest protein to cook. It's very, very quick. Okay. So all I do is season the skin side with a bit of salt, that's sea salt. Very then you nice. flip it over and season the non-skin yeah, side. Yeah, what do you have in there? It's just a little bit of a taco spice blend. So you're gonna get those yummy, smoky flavors. You're gonna get some garlic and onion and cumin, salt and pepper. Really, really delicious. Yeah, yeah. yeah you love how the Spices are uh, fantastic, very good. And if you don't want to use salmon, you can use any other kind of fish, or you could easily use chicken as well. Okay, one of the good things that I know we were talking about uh, about salmon is great. It's got a lot of great healthy fats mm -hmm. in the salmon, which is one of the reasons you don't put oil in the pan when yeah. you're about to sear it, right? Uh -huh. You I don't also, need oil with salmon. You don't need it because that whole skin side is actually fatty. It's good healthy fats. And the other thing is that we only put salt on the skin side where we're searing it because we don't want to burn the spices. Right. So you just use salt because that won't burn. Can I ask so, you something? What are yeah. some, while that cooks a little bit, what are some of the biggest misconceptions or myths you would say about keto? Because there, yeah. there's so much misinformation so true, out right? there. Yeah. And people say keto and they think, oh, I would never do that. But there are really some great benefits to keto. Yeah, so probably the biggest one that scares people is that they can never have bread again. And <laughs> in my book, I actually talk about after two to four weeks, finding a way to bring back some of those carbs, whether it's on a daily basis a little bit or once a week, depending on how active you are. So it's not a never have bread again way of eating. The other thing that people think is that you can never um, go a day without counting, and we absolutely don't need to count everything that we're eating. So this only needed to sear for a couple of minutes. Only on the one side Only then? on the one okay. side. Okay, okay, great. And then we pop it right into the oven. We pop it in on broil. So it just takes a few minutes. And a little bit minutes better. Minutes. Yeah. Okay, so broil, you say about four to five minutes? Is that your idea? Yeah, about four to five minutes. Okay. And you can kind of, you know, you can give it a little little yeah. touch and little see. Poke. Yep, and see how it's doing. Okay, well, um, you know, I think one thing that people, when they hear keto, they think the food's gonna be bland. It's not gonna taste no. good. So, and I think we can attest yeah. Yeah. that is uh, not true. Well, I'm so glad. Well, I'm, I'm Italian and German, and I'm from New Jersey, and we woke up cooking all the time in my house, and flavor is always key. So I do lots of spices and seasonings. We don't want anything bland. We're also obviously getting lots of healthy fats, which really make the food taste great. Um, I give you recipes for spice blends right in the book, so you don't need to know how to do everything yourself. You don't have to buy stuff that's pre-made at the store that doesn't taste great or has um, additives in it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're gonna start so building the tacos now. Here we now. go, okay. Yeah, we got, you're breaking up the salmon Super so you can simple. get them into this. And instead, I mean, we've talking about low carb here, right? So instead of yeah. using tortilla, right. we're using cabbage, uh, pieces of cabbage. Cabbage leaves, yes. you can use cabbage, you can use lettuce, any kind of lettuce, romaine, you can use butter lettuce. And all we're gonna do, okay, I might pull my plate a little bit. Yeah, please do, please do. Yeah, <laughs> let, me, let me help you out a little bit. Before I make a spices. mess, uh, we're just gonna put some of the salmon right into the taco. Okay. And again, you can do this with chicken. You could even do it with steak too. You could do it with shrimp. And is that coleslaw you're serving it with? Yep, we yeah. do a side of a spicy slaw. It's super simple. And the cool thing about this slaw is actually, oh, did you want one too? Yeah, <laughs> you know, I'll the take cool a little thing, bite. I'll cool take thing one of yours. The slaw is that it holds up really well in the fridge. So you can actually use it for a couple of days Ooh, nice. and it'll stay really nicely in the fridge. Okay, okay so you've got this, this great swap yeah. out, like we mentioned, the cabbage leaf yep. instead of the tortilla. Um, what are some other great low carb or keto friendly swap outs that we can do in the kitchen as we're building our yeah. tacos here? So a great one that I like to do, and I'll tell you what this is, in a second. Okay. The great one is um, flax crackers instead of kind of regular crackers. They're super high in got fiber. It's really great. Got yeah. They're not bad, right? They're really yeah, high like in fiber there. and they're super delicious. You can do that with something sweet like almond butter or you could do that with cheese. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so let me tell you quickly what this is. Yes, this please. 
please. Avocado crema. It sounds fancy. It's really simple. It's avocado mashed up with coconut milk. Mm. You could use cream if you like. Um, and then a bunch of spices, Yummy. salt, pepper, and some other goodies. Those okay. coconut products are great. They're super healthy. Good, so I'm going to grab one of these fats. forks, yep. too. I don't want to stick the... Uh, no, please, yeah. Okay, so I'll these are build. marinated onions. Another great recipe to make ahead of time, just like that slaw, where you can put them on salads. They are burgers. so good. Yeah, they taste yeah. so sweet. They're super simple, and it's just red wine vinegar, some spices, mm -hmm. and just let them marinate. So, and I, and I just want to say this: I love a good taco, and I love like tortilla chips. Yes. What I loved about this, because I was a little uncertain, you have the exact feeling that you're biting right. into a taco with this yeah. cabbage. Yeah, the mm -hmm. crunch is really a lot of what people miss. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I think that you really get that. Plus, my big thing as a nutritionist is I want you to eat something very nutrient dense, meaning I want you to get vitamins and minerals. You're getting tons of fiber, so you don't mm -hmm. have to feel like you're deprived and dieting. You're really eating. So, so good. good. I've tried this. <laughs> so, so good. So much. This was so, so delicious.